Introduction to Integers, focusing on absolute value. In this video, you will need your integers foldable, which looks like this. We will be focusing on this flap right here, which is absolute value. Anything we discuss or write down in this video needs to be copied in this flap of your foldable for your notes. The distance between a number and zero on a number line is called absolute value. To find the absolute value of a number, we simply need to locate that number on a number line and see how far it is from zero. Let's use number four right here is our example. If I look at four, I have to go one, two, three, four spaces to zero. So the absolute value of four is four. The way we write this in math looks like this. These two lines on either side of the four mean absolute value. So when you read this, you'll read the absolute value of four equals or is, and then we would just write four. What about finding the absolute value of a negative integer? Is it going to be any different? Let's look and try. We will try with negative four. To find the absolute value of negative four, we simply look at the number line and see how far away from zero negative four is. From negative four, I have to go one, two, three, four spaces to get to zero. So if I want to know the absolute value of negative four, here's how I would write that. The absolute value of negative four is, and because we already counted, negative four is one, two, three, four spaces from zero, then we know the absolute value of four is also four. Now you can use this same number line or you can draw a new one but go ahead and try to find the absolute value of at least two other numbers using a number line. Come to class tomorrow prepared to discuss this with your buddies.